Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Solex power inverter and uh, I want to show you a fault which you may possibly get with a, one of these inverters. You can see here it shows P grid, that's the power going back to the grid. So we've got power coming in from the solar, 2560 watts, power going back to the grid, 2430. So this inverter has a meter connected so it can monitor uh, export and uh, consumption from the grid as well. So the fault I want to, and you can see, sorry, the, um, the mode it's currently in at the moment is in normal operational mode, so it's working away nicely. Now I'm just going to go down here. We've got a, a plug behind here, uh, which is for the, which a meter is connected to. I'm just going to unplug that. And let's just watch what happens on the screen there. We see it's come up with meter fault and we've got the red fault light on. And so the system's not producing any power now. And what's going to happen, it's going to go from the meter fault and then try and reboot the system. But then it's not going to work because it keeps on seeing this meter fault. So in this case here, in our example, I've just um, replicated a meter fault by just unplugging the meter cable. So obviously if you unplug the meter cable or that meter cable is a bad connection, you are, your inverter is going to throw up this meter fault. Now it also can, this issue can be thrown up as well by the inverter if you've got a bad connection at the meter, which would be in your switchboard, or if uh, or that meter is faulty. In this case here, I've actually been at this site today to replace a 40 meter. There was uh, one of one of these meters installed which uh, seemed to be causing a problem so we've replaced that and now it's working way nicely. Another potential cause of uh, the meter fault issue is if there's interference in this cable and that can be caused if it's been ran inside the uh, between the switchboard and the inverter too close to any AC cables it can cause some uh, interference between the uh, between the signals and so I'd recommend checking that uh, the cable is ran away from any AC cables and if, it, if that's not possible that it's a shielded cable to uh, make sure it's not um, affected by any interference from the AC cables. So in this case here we're still showing this meter fault. I'm going to plug this back in. Somewhere back here. Okay, and we see on the screen now it's got uh, P grid minus 74. That means we're taking 74, 75 watts from the grid. Now it's waiting, it's in a startup procedure. And after the, uh, it's gone through the countdown, it should be operational again. So look, if that's uh, helped you, I'm, uh, I'm glad to hear that. If you're still having issues and you've checked those things uh, and you're near the Gold Coast, maybe give Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions a call. We can certainly help. If you're somewhere else, I'd recommend you get in touch with a local solar accredited uh, electrician. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.